Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. First of all, I want to thank everybody for all the continued support. The channel just passed 40,000 subscribers, which is 20 times the size it was a year ago. So that's been incredible, and thanks to all of you that have subscribed, as well as any of you that maybe haven't subscribed or comment or anything like that, but still check in on the channel and follow what I do because you're a big part of this as well. So as for the topic of this video, I was wondering the other day how the town bell works. I've even gotten the question requested a couple of times. I mean, obviously it works like this. You hit it, and the villagers go in, and you press it again, and they go back to work. I think I got that part, but really, how does it work? For example, what's the range of it? And what kinds of buildings do the villagers garrison in? And does it affect all of your town centers when you hit it, or just the one? These are the kinds of questions we don't need the answer to, but now you probably won't be able to sleep tonight until you know them. So, let's check it out. So before I get into the mechanic, I want to mix things up a bit with the application portion here. So when should you use the town bell in a real game? I know a subset of people watching are probably thinking any extra information about it is ultimately unnecessary because they never use the town bell. And I think there's certainly some logic behind that line of thinking. In fact, it's almost seen as a sign you're a very new player if you use the town bell a lot, and it's developed a bit of a social stigma. What happens is, because it has such a large range, you're upsetting a huge part of your economy that might not even be threatened. Here's a real-life example from a commentated video I put up a year ago, and in this example, Green is hitting a few of Red's lumberjacks with crossbows, and Red hammers on the town bell. In this situation, with a town center and three towers, 30 villagers are affected and essentially stop working, while only five or so were originally being threatened. Here in this other example, I have a fairly established town and the enemy scout passes by. So I want to shoot him. I could ring the town bell, but that's going to start bringing in villagers from other places. The more controlled way to garrison villagers in both of these examples is to select the ones that you want to garrison and click G or whatever your hotkey is for this command and then right click the town center. You can also do the same thing by holding Alt and right clicking the town center as well. There seems to be an option related to this, and I just keep that enabled, but you can experiment with that if you like. However you do it, using garrison instead of the town bell is nice because then you have more control over the units, and you can garrison just the ones that you want instead of shutting down your whole economy because of a threat in only one area. That all being said, I think it's defensible if you use the town bell now and then, like if you're pretty spread out in the late game and you're getting hit by a group of raiding units for example, and you don't want to garrison everyone by hand. I think in cases like that it's reasonable, especially if there's defensive towers and castles in your base, which can be a pain to try to get the right numbers of villagers into. Okay, but what if you're actually genuinely curious about the numbers and the mechanics of how it works? Well, I got your back, so let's dig into what's actually going on with it. First, let's look at the basic mechanics and the range of the town bell. We see here that the closest 15 villagers go to the town center, so maybe the range is 15. Or maybe it'll only garrison as many as can fit, since the town center holds 15. That certainly seems to be the case here, and if a villager in range won't fit, it seems they just hang out and keep doing what they're doing. That means if you're attacking and hear the town bell, don't necessarily assume all of the opponent's villagers are heading for cover. You may still find some that are working. Let's try it again with some more garrison space. It turns out that the maximum range is 23 tiles away from the edge of the town center, as long as there's space for all of those villagers. 23 sounds like a bit of a random number, but consider the fact that the town center is 4 tiles wide, and I'm pretty sure it's really supposed to be 25 tiles, but measured from the very center and not from the edge. Now the bells also affect other town centers in that range, and you can release the bell from another one as well. It doesn't leapfrog through town centers though, it's not like the beacons of Gondor. So your whole economy might not be affected if it's spread out, which I think is a good thing. Nearby villagers also garrison in other types of buildings than just the town center, including castles and towers, and they sort themselves out pretty efficiently while they do that in general, sending the maximum number to the closest buildings first. In this situation though, we notice some odd behavior. 
The castle here is within 25 tiles of the town center, but not within 25 tiles of the furthest villagers, and we see that they don't garrison inside of it. We might think then that the distance of the castle or tower to the town center doesn't matter. Villagers within 25 tiles hear the town bell and then garrison in something that they see within their own 25 tile range from where they're standing. That certainly makes sense so far, but then how do we explain this? I move the tower outside of the 25 tile town center range and the villager won't garrison in it, almost as if he doesn't see it when it's only 9 tiles away from him. So the distance of the garrison building to the town center seems to matter as well. In order to successfully garrison, it seems a villager and a garrison location both need to be within the 25 tile grid from the town center. And that place to garrison must also happen to be within a separate 25 tile range of the villager and of course not already be claimed by a closer villager. Here I've shown the town center range marked off by dirt and some villagers spread around it, along with towers and villagers outside of it. If I ring the town bell, the close villagers inside the dirt area garrison, but may not find space if they don't have a free building in their own personal range. If I do it again with some of the towers moved inside the town center range, the villagers happily use those as long as they're nearby. The villagers and towers outside of the town center's range might as well not even be there. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Moving on, we can see the ungarrison bell signal is also restricted by the same range. So here we hit the first town bell to signal it, and if we hit the release from a second town center a short ways away, this far castle isn't affected. Now on the subject of how to ungarrison them afterwards, there's a couple of ways that might occur to you to try. Let's say we have these villagers working and decide to bring them in with the town bell, but want to send them back out now. The first way is you can ring the town bell again, which is the hotkey B by default, and that just sends them back to where they were. A little side note I should mention is I've changed that hotkey to a different one for myself because B is my build hotkey for villagers and I got tired of accidentally hitting the town bell when I was trying to tell a villager to build something. You might also be tempted to use the little door and arrow with the blue villager and that's the back to work command. It does the same thing though technically the town bell isn't deactivated yet so it'll only send town center villagers back to work and not any other nearby garrison buildings. The third thing you might think to try is the one you don't want to press, which is the ungarrison button, which just kicks them out of the town center without actually going back to work. You'll have to go and assign them back to work manually after that, so try not to misclick that if you can help it. The main message is simply that if you garrison with the town bell, use the town bell again to send them back. In general, it won't be to your advantage to use any of those other fancy options. So there you go. You may decide never to use the town bell, but at least now you know all about how it works. Best of all, you'll be able to sleep tonight. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you next time.